interesting type of as right can actually come to your dm and buy what you're selling after speaking with you so this is not a direct type ad because this ad allows them to interact with you first before paying you or you know getting whatever it is you want them to buy from you so the advantage for this type of ad is that you can use it to sell amazingly almost any type of product all right and it's also one of the cheapest type of ads you can run so Let's go in depth and see how we can actually get this set up. But before that, um, let's talk about why even run ads to WhatsApp. Well, firstly, one of the reasons why you should run ads to WhatsApp is if you're selling low price digital products. For example, if you sell eBooks, um, mini courses of 5,000 Naira, 1,000 Naira, um, $5, $2, $3, you can use this process to sell out your courses because these process require people coming to ask questions. Okay, I want to learn more about this. It's also for you if you do not have, you don't have a landing page, um, you don't have any specific um, website for your product, so it works very well. Then secondly, it's also good for you if you sell physical products that requires you to you know, engage with your customers. If you sell clothes, you sell everyday products, perfumes, you know, then you could use this method because you do not need a landing page. It's also good for you if you sell multiple products, you sell in bulk and all that. So you do not need a website, you do not need a landing page. You can simply use this process and get people to message you, inquire about your product and buy from you. Now, who is this for? Basically, this is going to work well for infopreneurs, right? You're selling information, selling ebooks. This will work well for you. Um, if you are also a physical product seller, this works very well. Um, works very well for you. All right. So, what are the requirements? Some of the things we require. Firstly, um, you're gonna need to have WhatsApp business, right? WhatsApp business. So let me just dive in and show you what WhatsApp business looks like. So this is WhatsApp business. You can see this WhatsApp business is different from this. This is just normal WhatsApp. All right. So you want to have WhatsApp business. Now let's look at it in Play Store. So you go to your Play Store and download WhatsApp business. You can't do this with normal WhatsApp. It has to be WhatsApp business. So, so let's download WhatsApp business. Now this is whatsapp business so you can see it's already installed because i have it and i use it right so all you need to do is download this one it's very different from all the other whatsapp right all right so another thing you need sorry good another thing you're going to need is your facebook accounts so i will not go into checking the, you, you will not go into this because i believe you already understand what it means you need your facebook account then you need a facebook page now a facebook account is different from a facebook page so let me show you that because a lot of people are still confused about this um so let me just go ahead and show you the difference between a facebook account and a facebook page now this is my facebook account this is my account right this is my account you will see your feed everything here right so this is my um, um, Facebook account now let me show you the difference between this and a page when it comes to a page all you need to do is come here you see pages right so a page is something you can use as, a, as an expression of yourself so these are pages I have right pages allow you run ads so whenever you see an ad running on facebook it is not run by a facebook profile it is run by a facebook page as um, at, um attached to a facebook profile so let's look at this for example this is a page fitness freak it's a page it's not a profile you cannot run ads with a profile you run ads with a facebook page all right so this is a profile this is somebody's profile however this is look at this is another page Right, so those are just the major difference. And um, when we're setting up, I'll show you how to actually uh, where your page comes in. All right, now let's go back. Another thing you need is Meta Ads Manager. Meta Ads Manager. Meta Ads Manager is a small, it's a small app. Um, okay, one more thing I forgot. All right, Meta Ads Manager is a small app which you can use in monitoring your ads. So let me show you what that is. Um, this is Meta Ads Manager. Now, I have 
a clone of it. I'm, I'm able to clone it because I manage ads for a lot of people. So let's look at one of my um, clients' ads that is running. So um, this is Meta Ads Manager, basically. And you can see it. I'm able to see the ads that are running here. I can manage them um, from my phone right i can manage it from my phone so the advantage with this is that you can set up ads with this and you can manage ads with this so you don't have to be logging in you don't need a laptop you don't need a system to get started if you want to set up ads you just come here and click the plus button and select the type of ad you want to, to, to set up so we're going to go we'll check it out i'll show you how to get this done right now um and that thing you need is your ad copy and your ad creative your ad copy your ad copy is simply the text people are going to see hey i'm selling a b c d you guys should come and check it out if you uh, and buy from me that's your ad copy whatever you write is your ad copy then your ad creative is the video or image you use right so if you if you sell hair for example um the picture of hairs you put that attracts people is your ad is your ad The video you use is right. Let me show you. This is your ad creative. You can see this picture of this girl with this right up here. This is your ad creative. This is your text. See all this text here. This is your ad copy. This is all known as your ad copy. This text here that is written on top, ready to test your SEO and blogging knowledge, is all known as ad copy. This is ad creative. All right. So I believe we've gotten this down. Um. And that thing you need is WhatsApp autoresponder. Now, this is not always recommended depending on what you're selling, depending on how much communication you need to have with your client. Sometimes, I uh, sorry, with your customer. Sometimes I like to use um, WhatsApp autoresponder. Sometimes I don't use it. So let me show you what WhatsApp autoresponder is. Um, okay, so this is a WhatsApp autoresponder. And what this allows me to do is automate messages. Okay, so look at this. In this particular example i am giving out a free training where i show people how to make 500k to one month using facebook ads right uh using facebook ads okay sorry i should be correct yeah so when they send me this message this is the message i want them to send to me when they send me this message um, i've already pre-programmed it somewhere else so that once they are entering my whatsapp they receive that message they autom so when they send me that message they automatically get this message as a response to them so i don't even have to be online to reply them all right so you need to you might need to do this depending in some cases you might not people may just send you hello i'm interested i want to buy this how much is the price and in that case you don't really need an autoresponder it's because a very short short communication but where you have a long communication then you could use an autoresponder so to be replying messages every single second the um, you really, really need to be responding to messages. All right. Um, it actually costs four thousand a month. So, like I said, um, it's not a hundred percent. Um, it's not necessary, but it is. Okay. So, sorry. Let me just turn on my video. This stuff. Okay. Okay. So, it's not a hundred percent necessary, but it is recommended right you can get it and you can use it and in night in naira it costs around four thousand naira, which may be 2.5 dollars or something like that all right so what you need so i don't have this on my phone because presently i'm not using it but let's see if i have it on my phone uh, meta business suits is a tool from facebook that allows you to manage ads as well as manage posts across both facebook and instagram at the same time so it's, it's a very very awesome tool let me just show you um i don't really use that i'm just going to show you how it is here and it's also not compulsory i mean you could literally do your work without it but it reduces work for you so um i will advise you get it meta business suits so this is it here all you need to do is come and download it, install, log into your Facebook. You will be able to monitor your ads from here as well. Now, I usually do not recommend setting up ads for Meta Business Suite. If you want to set up ads, there are two places you set up ads from um, that run to your WhatsApp. Is that you set it up directly from WhatsApp itself or you set it up from um, 
from the Meta Ads Manager, which I showed you earlier. So basically, these are all you need. Um, these are the requirements. These are the things you need to get started. Let's see how we can actually get started. So the first thing in getting started is to prepare your ad creative, right? You need to prepare your ad creative and your ad copy. So what picture are you using? What ad copy? Are you, what uh, text are you using? Right, you need to prepare those two things. And once they are prepared, um, you, you, you're ready to go to the next stage. Now, the next thing we're going to do is to connect our WhatsApp business to our Facebook page so we can run ads that will send people to message us directly to our um, WhatsApp. Yeah, to our WhatsApp, right? From our Facebook page. When people when we run ads on the Facebook page, it sends people directly to our WhatsApp. So we need to connect both of them. We need to link them. The third thing we need to do is now to set up ads either from our WhatsApp or from the Meta Ads Manager, right? Remember, I told you those are the two places I recommend you set up ads for. I don't recommend you boost uh, uh, boost posts. Never, never do that. It's a waste of time. And then I do not recommend that you set it up from um, Meta Business Suite. And unlike that, it's just as good as boosting posts. So they are basically the same thing. Then um, the fourth thing you want to do is to set up your automatic response or greeting message. So when people land in your DM, what is the first message they get? Right? When people say, I'm interested in this, or hello, can you tell me more about your product? What is the first message they get? So you're going to learn how to set it up because that's the next thing we're going to do. Then the fifth thing we are going to do is to monitor what is known as metrics. Now, metrics are indicators that tell us if our ads are working or not. And to make this as easy as possible, I'm not going to go in depth into all the metrics. You should look at just one metric that you should take note of, and that is your cost per messaging conversation started. Cost per messaging conversation started. So how much should you um, accept as a cost per any message that somebody sends to you? Now, as a general rule of thumb, you want your cost per messaging conversation to be under a hundred naira. That's around, um, um, let's say, seventy something cents or sixty something cents. I'm not exactly sure now, but you want it to be under that amount. Um, that doesn't mean you might not get costlier. Okay, you might get costlier messages. That's also well fine. But as much as possible, you want to work towards having ads that give you that kind of cheap results, all right? So um, in the next video, we're going to talk about how you can create your ad. Um, that video, we're going to talk about how you can link your WhatsApp, your, you know, your WhatsApp. So we're going to in the next video.